the ability to play back, be able to get all these buffs, and then inevitably edge guard Ness to his death. Yeah, I, I don't think it's a bad matchup, but I'm not the Ness player. It's not fun. <laughs> um, it's not necessarily bad, but you have to find ends. Vivi's already like playing back really, really well. What he does a lot is also retreating full hop for a little. Uh, retreating full hop, falling for a little rather. And that's how he really keeps himself super safe in this matchup. But Fang already with a big end, putting himself in a good position to ledge trap. Yeah, and already getting Vivi getting hit by a lot of PK fires. And he's applying enough pressure where Vivi doesn't get a lot of... Um, options to choose from or mm -hmm. puffs. So that choice from Vivi was a little bit interesting because Fang put in the double jump and instead of actually going out there and doing get a hitbox to pressure them, uh, they just ended up going back and trying to pull Manu a little bit. Yeah. Fang with a lot of shield pressure right now, able to either get a shield poke or punishing the drop shield. Yeah, I just think they were just in a weird place. All of Vivi tried to get down to the platform and the heal right there. Ooh, and Fang. this, yeah, this is a big one. Fang's not going to be able to stop with Piki Thunder anymore. And with Bounce now being on deck, Vivi can just completely invalidate it. But knowing the up smash counter play, just is able to jump away in between the hits um, to safety. Okay. And I would like to see if you can absorb that. You can. You, you, you for sure can. But there's a difference, right? In that Magnet is not fast and shield is frame one uh, yeah. so you need to like really make sure you, your reactions and your mentality is on point to be able to land that i like how Fang keeps going through these thunder stalls at the edge of the stage but finds a drag down and kills yeah and it seems to work out and about 120 percent they still have to be afraid and calling out the jump out right here <gasps> so off 39 hold. damage uh instead of going for another upper as a finisher we just oh! oh instead of going for another upper they go for the stock oh. he's so cool yeah cd <laughs> flare yeah. <laughs> oh but yeah back to just for a bit of stage control once again now vv I, I... okay yeah homie <laughs> <laughs> what what happened? Okay, well, here it is again. That time actually going through the upper finisher. Fang trying to get a little bit too saucy with it. Just ends up getting hit for the troubles at the end of the yeah. day. And oh. now we see bounce again. Keeps on getting the jumps and, you know, the approaches back onto the stage call though. Okay, and Thwack now going to be able to end the stock right there. 76 done on the Fang. Psych up. Uh, Ness up a little bit too much drift oh, to the left low side on of the shield. stage. <gasps> Such a good position. Vivi with no double jump has to find a way to be able to land. That side B space like that, definitely not safe at all. This is yeah. good. Uh, ooh. Oh, uh, buddy. So. so tell, tell me, tell me. DI away definitely wasn't the greatest thing right there. DI away was definitely not too poggers, uh, if I do say so myself. But I'm also curious about this MP usage from, from Vivi. Because what actually led up to the fact that they had zero MP at the edge of the stage. Or did they just die? Oh, no, oh no, they just died. Oh, the, the MP meter goes to zero and yeah. who does. Okay. So, I feel like literally anything would have been able to help them here. They shouldn't have died to this. This, yeah. this shouldn't have happened. Oh, well. It happens sometimes. Right? Yeah, you wanna, it happens like, to all of us. You want to hold out to maybe avoid the combo, and then you just end up deiding out on the kill move. Yeah. Uh, and, and you end up dying and meeting an unfortunate fate. Vivi's so, just believing the hero skin was wrong, so chooses a different um, mm -hmm. Dragon Quest hero. I like how Fang is also like really quickly trying to get off of these platforms and not like stick onto them too long with some double jumps. Yeah. Uh, and PK you, you, fires. You don't want yourself to be too grounded. I'll just. We said in the situation, oh, but man. holding onto Yo-Yo a little bit too long. The charge hitbox is only active for one, uh, for I believe it's like 90 frames, right? So that's one and a half seconds. Yeah. So you can't hold that forever. Um, so you can you can just wait that out. Right. Okay. Fang looking for like pivot grabs here, in the neutral, just in case like BB tries to roll in or throws out like a super extended hitbox. I think and Feng is also right now just playing neutral really, really well. And he's picking really good places to double jump, cancel PK fire, while Vivi is not immediately undo him. So he can't, like, exactly get punished for it. Yeah. All right, backing off. Who well, tries to double dip, tries to pressure him in, um, but then just ends up getting hit for all of his troubles. I feel like neither of them just want to initiate a hold for you right now, because yeah. look what happens when you overextend once. Yeah, but for, lucky for Feng knowing how to DI. Not many people do. 
and they tend to die at such a ridiculously early percent. Oh, just four though, just chucked him. Yeah, no, that's that's Hugo with uh, oomph. Psycho wouldn't be able to tell you which is which, but um, yeah, no, still gonna be able to close out the stock. Finds that double jump, cancel PK file. Feng recognizing he has no immediate follow up, so oh, he just goes for stage control. Triple, triple dare into the up, up there. Kind of, kind of busted. Okay. He's playing keep away. This, yeah. is, this is William F. Struggles. How do you actually get in on somebody with the ability to zone you out? Yeah, and that's the big thing because now Vivi has the, is able to go into his item and is now playing his game. He's chucking this little kid like it's an Olympic sport. That was really tough of Kuyoji. I love that. Yeah. Um, well, I'm a pop culture guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Vivi just controlling the stage again. Fang can't seem to find any of these ends. Tries to... Okay. That was so big. But also, he tried to, like, double jump uh, and PK Thunder, like, as, you know, to, to try to plank a little bit, but it's not that easy. Finds a first hit, but yeah. a little bit too slow on the second, but oh, no. Um, yeah, jumps a bit too high and too late with the pressing the A button yeah. for the aerial. At That's that point, you can only try to neutral it out of shield with your back facing toilets. I mean, you'll hit them, but maybe just not kill them immediately. But Fang not pressing the yo-yos quick enough. Yeah, and as dominant as Fang was on game one, Vivi is just as dominant right now in game two. Yeah. He's just playing patiently. He's playing back. He's always waiting for Fang to be the first one to overcommit. Yeah, and if I'm Fang, I'll probably try not to go let this um, just disturb me. Like, just remember the things you did in game one. Oh, has a good idea. We're trying to cover the, um, we're just trying to guess where Vivi yeah. is going. Um, but doesn't find it. Air dodging back on. This is so dangerous, but Fang, he's not respecting these falling aerials from Vivi. He's always doing an immediate out of shield option, like a neutral end. And, yeah. and instead of repositioning, we're waiting, we're going for grab. Yeah, and that was so good from the last game. He didn't press as many buttons and was just more patient. Yeah. And just waited for Vivi to do some, like the second option outside of. Yep. The aerial. But yeah, right now, though, you, as as Fang, you don't necessarily have the luxury of patience. Uh, the time is ticking. You a lot down. You ha you are the one that has to be a little bit aggressive. Yeah. Especially because if you give oh, that kills. No, not just yet. But if I was Fang, I would like try to be more patient and just try to use that as info. <gasps> Oh, just not enough MP. That was just barely not enough. I love the idea to free the follow up there. If Fang connected that, he would have been able to get a down out of the PK flash. How's he get back on? Yeah, Vivi not timing that. That is a very small window that you need yeah, to hit. Yeah, one frame, man. It's kind of broken. Yeah, neutral got up in this game is, is something else. Um, oh, yeah. It's not like those other neutral get ups. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not like other neutral get ups. Yeah. Um, that was tough. This that, entire match just felt that entire game. That game too mm -hmm. looked hard. It looked like that was an actual counter pick. And therein lies Hugo Ness. It is Hugo plays back. Okay, I'm gonna all right, keep it going. All right, right, right Ness, man, tell me, tell me. Ness can't move. Okay. He has funny little double jump cancel magnets. He, he has all that. But on paper, at the end of the day, a lot of what this boils down to is the fact that Ness. He can't get from A to B pretty quickly. He doesn't yeah. have a lot of ground speed. He doesn't have a lot of air speed. Hugo, somebody who plays back and needs to get buffed, so a lot of the counter play is jumping in on him and being able to challenge that. And as Ness, if you don't have those jump-ins, what, what, what do you do? Because all of his jump-ins can be so telegraphed sometimes. Yeah, and see what we have here? A smaller stage. Something better to just chase down BB and just tr have him not just load up on all these menu yeah. items. Just yeah. ordering the entire buffet. Fang having the counter pick advantage here is so big, but again, a little bit too slow on the jump end. They're just yeah. not able to get from A to B quick enough. Um, he's he's facing himself really, really safely relative to Vivi, so he's not getting hit by any straight side Bs. But, but yeah. it's... <gasps> it's okay. Just mash your way out. <laughs> life, life worked out. Yep. Alright, and Fang a bit more... I would say aggressive, even still compared to game Ooh. one. Okay, just getting caught right there, bad. Get up yeah. option. You don't have enough time in that position to really look at the menu and see what they're even trying to cover. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, and, and look, Fang keeps pressing neutrally out of shield immediately. And yeah. FBV has been capitalizing on yeah. that. So and now getting sucked in. No double jump off stage. Able to get back on, though, but no whip punish on, on 
you know, the back of the thing keeps defaulting to these neutral legs out of shield. Yeah, it's not looking good right here. Okay, another lightning for your trouble. And Vivi just running away with this. Up wow. tilt. This is this is just a long call for Fang. He yeah. 41 41 percent on Vivi. This is hard. You know, it's so, so difficult to challenge Vivi as he's full hopping and retreating. So difficult to get off of ledge against Hugo as well. Vivi's just playing this by the book. All right. That's that stock right there. So one stock ahead. So I believe in that position you could also go menu twice and just in case you get zoomed the second time around. Yeah, so. but I think you ha he did want to air dodge too low to cancel, so it just like didn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, it can't so even. It's not a projectile, it's a yeah. hitbox. It's just a really big disjointed hitbox. Fang finding one falling forward, but not in a percent or position where he can follow up from it at all. Really fishing through these dash attacks so, so much. Yeah, just looking for it and it's just not working out. He's not able to get under Vivi, he's not able to get any air to airs with him because he's really picking good places to be jumping from. And now, this just looks hard. Oh, oh. <laughs> Right. Yeah, fair. He's taking it right there. And 2 1. Vivi. So Vivi played that well. Yeah, he played that patiently. Did. He played back. He was able to catch Fang on all of his jumps. Um, yeah, this is this is just where it can get really, really difficult for Ness sometimes. Is it winning and losing for either of these characters? It's difficult to say. But all I know is that it's not particularly that good of a time for, for Ness. For Ness, yeah. Fang played game one really well, but I also just feel like Vivi was able to make a lot of adaptations to his spacing and to the places that he was picking to try to jump from. Uh, he played back, he was going through a lot of full hop retreating aerials, um, and, and just base side B in places that Fang couldn't even punish or even get that much stage uh, control afterwards. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put it this way. This is this is what I think about it. It's kinda because Ness is not great. That's why it's difficult. He's not fast. 